Hello my friends and welcome back to our continued blind let's play Conquest of the Longbow, The Legend of Robin Hood. My name is The Flightless Bird, this is your story based gaming channel and today, today we're trying to get, we're going to try to get the power of the green man and we also need to see the scholar at the fair and give him the scroll. So let's go ahead and get started shall we? I hope you all having a wonderful, fantastic day today. I had a conversation with the amazingly awesome Ashinda Fimist. Go check her out. If you go to my main page and scroll down to Friends of the Channel, you'll see her there. Uh, go give her a follow on Twitch as well. But we had a conversation about the hand code because apparently I was doing this wrong. And I was doing this and trying to do this and he says I already have it. So I was doing this to open it up and then, well, do this, nothing happens. And all you have to do really is just put your hand on yourself. Which is very weird because in a lot of Sierra games, putting your hand on yourself just makes a joke of some kind. I didn't know this was actually something you had to do. So this is how you use the hand code. Now, what are we going to type out? Well, if we look at the tree, we find out that this is an oak tree. So if we spell out the word oak in our hand, which, if you look at the manual, the manual tells you the the letters. So oak is here. That's O. Uh, K is right below it. A is like over here. And that's K. Somewhere it's K. Yeah, it's a little, little finicky, but yeah. So if we spell the word oak and then hit our palm, it'll say Zounds. I forgot. The trees only respond to the druid names. The, the druid, according to, I should say, the Latin, according to the instruction booklet, because the druid apparently is Latin, is a uh, duer, D-U-I-R, which is spelled D, uh, U, where's I, I is over here, and then R is right above it. If you spell a duer, it says, hmm, I know what that's the tree's name, but what was it that Marianne said? I, she said, I must have the blessings of the green man before I could call upon the power of the druid trees. And obviously when I do this, nothing works. So we kind of got stuck here for a second, and she told me a very non-spoiler thing, which is to go south of the tree and then wait. So, I, I don't know. If it's a screen or the screen under us or if you just wait on the forest or you just wait I see something there is something jumping our way it's a wood sprite one of the little pixies that inhabit the Sherwood legend says that a captured wood sprite must grant anything the captor wishes ho ho I tried for many years, I never caught one yet. So we had to capture the wood sprite, it appears. And I know how to capture them because we have this. It's a widow's gift. It's the only thing in our inventory that would allow us to capture something. And it was given to us for a purpose of doing something with the tree. So I feel very confident we have to use this with the wood sprite. So if I load and I throw this at the... Okay, that did not work. I, I think that I'm moving too slow here. Okay, that don't work. Maybe I had to do it in front of him? Maybe throw it to this side? Aha! At last, Pixie, grant my wish. I wish, oh my god, that thing's, I thought that would be like, thing's not very pretty, that's for sure. No wish, Pixie, no wish! What do you mean, you can't grant wishes? Pixie, no power! Green man, big power. Green man, sleep. Oak, dream magic, all forced. Say go. Pixie, take. Green man, green man, all wishes. Say go. Very well. Go. All good. Follow. Okay. And again, thank you, Ash, for all your help. Old man, oak. Oh, father tree. Green man, green man. Come and see. All right. Finally got something working. 
Heard my witchshield cause so fleshling you seek me. I am here. Do you rule the forest, green man? I am as heart and soul. My will moves from root to root. My thoughts sow in the leaves. The pixies said you grant all wishes. Their acorn imps, foolish and rootless, wishes are the dream stuff of fleshlings. Mine is the power to grant you the protection of the druid trees. But my protection is not easily earned. My riddles are perilous. Those who fail my test join the forest are never more clothed than flesh. Dwell upon that. Before you speak again. Okay, let's... Why does that have to be riddles? And conquest of Camelot. The reason I couldn't beat the game as a youngster. Because of the stupid riddle stones. I could get usually four out of five of them to light up. But I could never get all five. I could never ever do it. And then when I played the game again on this channel, I used the online Sierra hint book and the hint book online program is actually wrong and doesn't work. So I had to find another walkthrough to be able to answer the riddles. And now we got more riddles. Now I like riddles, but I get stuck on them. Elder Scrolls Arena. That there was a riddle of about, you know, neither flesh nor bone or machine or feather. I have four, five fingers, no thumb. What am I? Uh, I think that was a riddle or something like that. And I got stuck on that riddle. I could ever beat the original arena because I didn't know the answer was a glove. Sorry, spoilers. I should have said something. But, you know, it's a really old game and whatever. But still, I, I remember these things because I couldn't solve them. <sighs> Let's see how these go. I'll risk the pale of your riddles. If that is the only way, I may earn your protection. It is the only way. Let us begin. Oh, dear Lord. What do you do? Tongue, please speak no more. Legs to wood, toes to root. Deep in the earth you dig. Half man, half tree. On the freedom of your lands, I leave thee. If you pass my riddles, I will restore you. If you fail, you'll become a full oak and never walk as a man again. I will pose the riddle. You must spell out the answer in the druid code. I will begin. I am a window. I am a lamp. I am clouded. I am shining. I am colored, set in white. I fill with water and overflow. Say much. But have no words. I'm a window, I am a lamp, I'm out of action, I'm colored, set in white, filled with water and flow. Say much, but have no words. Oh, it's cool, they tell it to me down here. I am a window. I am a lamp. I am clouded. Okay, I thought it may have been a cloud there for a second, but it says I am clouded. So that takes that away. I am shining. I am colored. Set in white. I fill with water and overflow. I say much but I have no words. I am a window. I am a lamp. I am cloud. I am shining. I am colored, set in white. Fill with water and overflow. Say much, but have no words. Say much. I am colored, set in white. I fill with water and overflow. I don't know. I do not know this one. I am not... Uh, Belbo Baggin, right? OG Hobbit. My window. I am a lamp. I am clouded. I am shining. I am colored, set in white, filled with water overflow. So let's play a game, shall we? Let me know in the comment section below. Without cheating, 
if you got this riddle or not. Because I am very curious. Because I do not have a clue. But I am interested in seeing what the fail state is. Uh, let's see. Let me go with cloud. Whoops. Nay, that is not it. Let me try again. Oh, okay. I am the heart that does not beat. If cut, I bleed without blood. I can fly, but have no wings. I can float, but have no fins. I can sing, but have no mouth. I'm the heart that does not beat. Cut, I bleed without blood. I can fly, but have no wings. I can float, but have no fins. I do not know these. I am not good at riddles, my friends. I, I'm not, I, I'm pretty smart. I will say that. I, I do have intelligence. But not for riddles. I, I, give me a puzzle. I may be able to figure it out. Maybe I'm not as smart as I think I am. <laughs> I mean, y'all have seen my walkthroughs of, uh, the point and click adventure games that we played and there were times I had to look up the answer because I didn't know it and I'm the heart that does not beat I bleed without blood I can fly but have no wings I can float but have no fins well, let's see what happens if we get it wrong. Nay, you are wrong again. Once more you may try before all is lost. I born, my touch is gentle. Purest white is my lace. Silent, silent is my kingdom. Green is the color of my death. The heck does that mean? Purest white is my lace. Silent, silent is my kingdom. Green is the color of my death? Like, what does that mean? I'm gonna guess tree. Because this green is the color of my death and we're talking to a tree. Uh, so let's see. T, that's not T. It's not a T. T is above the P. There we go. T. R. You have failed! What a fine young oak you make. Wait until you drop your first acorns and feel the bird's nest in your branches and you will know true contentment. Oh, I didn't get a story from the guys. That's a shame. All right, so let's try again. I'm gonna get rid of the voice because it's hard to do the voice with all these riddles. Highborn, my touch is gentle. Pierce what is my life. Okay, so this is the one that we are unsure of. I guess it's time to... Yeah, I, I guess it's time to uh, look things up. Because, hey, I, I don't know. <laughs> and as I said, um, there's nothing wrong with not knowing something. Nothing wrong with it. I, I stand by that, and I'll stand by that till the end of time. So, if you dislike me looking up the answer to a riddle that I'm never going to solve and therefore never going to be able to beat the game without. I understand, but at the same time, it, 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 it is what it is. So, okay, which one is this? Highborn, my touch is gentle. Uh, the answer is snow or snowflakes. Oh, okay. Green is the color of my death. Green is how a snow dies because the, the seasons change. That's clever. I like that one. Uh, let's see. S is top right. It's like up here. And then O is here. And W is down here. Aye, that is the word. Two riddles you must answer. Here's the next. I'm the outstretched fingers that seize and hold the wind. Wisdom flows from me in other hands. Upon me are sweet dreams dreamt. My nearest touch brings laughter. Okay, so I am the outstretched fingers that seize and hold the wind. 
Wisdom flows from me in other hands. Upon me are sweet dreams dreamt. My merest touch brings laughter. So like I said, I'm not good at riddles. I really not. This is like a weak point. It's always been a weak point for me. As I said, all the all the way back to Conquest of Camelot, all the way to uh, Arena, the Elder Scrolls, uh, riddles have always been something that have eluded me. What is that? I guess I'm not very left-sided brain? Is that correct? Uh, let's see. I'm the outstretched fingers. Um, my mirror's touch brings laughter. Is it, uh, I was going to say, like, lips. Because as you stretch out your lips, you laugh. Um, outstretched fingers that seize and hold the wind. Hold the wind. Wisdom flows to me in other hands. Upon me are sweet dreams dreamt. A joke? No. Yeah. Uh. I am horrible at riddles. A feather. I'm the outstretched fingers that season to hold the wind. I don't know how that's a feather. Wisdom flows to me in other hands. I guess they're talking about an owl. Upon me are sweet dreams dreamt. Sleep on a feather pillow. My mirror's touch brings laughter. Tickling some of the feather can make them laugh. I don't know if I fully understand how that's a feather, but very well. F E A T H E R. Ah, you're right again. The final bill is upon you. Golden treasures I contain, guarded by hundreds and thousands. Stored in a labyrinth where no man walks, yet men come often to seize my gold. By smoke I am overcome and robbed, then left to build my treasure anew. Now, this one I think I know. Because there's another riddle, I don't know if it's in the Elder Scrolls or in Conquest of Camelot, but there's a riddle that sounds a lot like this, where golden treasures I contain. Uh, normally the riddle talks about how it's got a wall of some kind. And it's talking about an egg. Like, when you break an egg open, there's gold inside. Stored in a labyrinth where no man walks, yet men come often to seize my gold. By smoke, I am overcome and robbed. So basically, when you cook it, the gold goes away. Then left to build my treasure anew. I'm not sure about that last one, but I think this one is an egg. And the only reason I know this is because I've seen this in another game. I'm not sure which one. Like I said, it may be an Elder Scrolls or Count Chris Camelot, but I've seen a riddle like this before. So is it an egg? The answer is no, it is not an egg. <laughs> It is not an egg. Uh, hmm. I don't know how this one makes sense. I don't know how this one makes sense. The answer is a beehive or a hive. I'm not sure how this is the answer. H. I is over here. Uh, V is down here. E is over here. My oath. It's good to feel my toes astride the earth again. Spoken like a true fleshling. Now heed me. From this moment on, my protection is yours. I have laid a spell upon your form and the clothings of your flesh. In this form alone will the trees know you. When danger is upon you, seek out the heart of the grove of druid trees. Only within the grove is the magic powerful enough. Spell out the secret name of the druid trees and they will hide you until the danger is past. But only the true druid name spelled in code will serve. I will be aware of this man's speech. Farewell.
All right, so we have completed this thanks to, well, not thanks to my intelligence, that's for sure. Uh, why don't we play a little game amongst ourselves, shall we? I'm going to read for you all the riddles that this game can give you. And then I'm going to ask you to pause. And you can try to figure out the answer. Sounds fun? All right, let's see how many of these you all can get. And make sure you pause the video because I'm not going to see here for like a minute and wait or have a count on the screen. I'm just going to say, okay, pause now and we'll go on. So... I am the heart that does not beat. If I cut, I bleed without blood. I can fly, but have no wings. I can float, but have no fins. I can sing, but have no mouth. What am I? Go ahead and pause now if you want to play along. And for this one, I would have been right earlier. This one is a tree or wood. So this one is wood or a tree. Next one. My my first master has four legs. My second master has two legs. I'm also going to play along with you guys, by the way. Sorry to interrupt the other uh, riddle. Um, because the cool thing about this strategy guide is it blocks out the answer. So I can't see the answer until I scroll on. My first master has four legs. My second master has two legs. My first, I serve in life. My second, I serve in death. Cure me, and I'll live beyond my death. Tough I am, yet soft beside. Against ladies' cheeks, I oft reside. I'll repeat. My first master has four legs. My second master has two legs. My first, I serve in life. My second, I serve in death. Cure me, and I'll live beyond my death. Tough I am, yet soft beside. Against ladies' cheeks, I oft reside. First master has four. My second master has two. My first I serve in life. Like, I want to say it's a cane. No, my first master has four legs. As a, Yeah. Well, when you're crawling, it's not man. I mean, it's not the riddle of the Sphinx. Okay, the answer? It is fur, skin, pelt, or leather. All right, I, I, uh, I don't know that one. Next one. Metal or bone I may be. Many teeth I have and always bared. Yet my bite harms no one and ladies delight in my touch. Metal or bone I may be, many teeth I have and always bared, yet my bite harms no one and ladies delight in my touch. Uh, many teeth I have. Many teeth. A necklace? Can't be a ring. Ladies, the light in my touch. All right, the answer is a comb. Okay, a comb. I, I could kind of see that one. I could kind of see that one. Sure, I I I can buy that one. Uh, next riddle. Not born, but from a mother's body drawn. I hang until half of me is gone. I sleep in a cave until I grow old, then valued for my heart and gold. Not born, but from a mother's body drawn, I hang until half of me is gone. I sleep in a cave until I grow old, then valued for my heart and gold. Um. Uh. I hang until half of me is gone? Man, I am an ofer for these. I don't think I've gotten a single one right. Except I did say tree, but then I said tree for a different one. The answer is cheese. Again, I could kind of see that, but I don't think I would have ever gotten that one. Cheese. Next riddle. I am two-faced, but bear only one face. I have no legs, but travel widely. 
Men spill much blood over me. Kings leave their imprint upon me. I have greatest power when given away, yet lust for me keeps me locked away. I am two-faced, but bear only one face. I have no legs, but travel widely. Men spill much blood over me. Kings leave their imprint upon me. I have greatest power when given away, yet lust for me keeps me locked away. So at first I thought it may have been like a rug. Like, men spill much blood over me could be a, um... Uh, could be a, uh, allusion to wine. Uh, two-faced but pay only one face. It could be a crown. I have no legs but travel widely. I have greatest power when given away. Yet lust for me keeps me locked away. Could just be love. Lost my page. Where is it? Here we go. Okay, let's see the answer. The answer is... Oh, this one's too... Oh, I feel bad about this one. Okay. A coin. Pennies. Penny or money. Yeah, two-faced, but you bear only one. Heads or tails. Travels widely. Men kill over money. Kings put their faces on them. Okay. Fair enough, game. I'm still not sure about those last two, but I like that one. I am a widow. I am a lamp. I am clouded. I am shining. I am colored, set in white. I fill with water and overflow. I say much, but have no words. I am a window. I am a lamp. I am clouded. I am shining. I am colored, set in white. I fill with water and overflow. I say much, but have no words. This is the one that I couldn't get before. <laughs> the answer is... An eye. An eyeball. Okay, I don't know about the lamp. <laughs> I don't know about that one. That, that one I'm I, that one I'm putting a little uh, I'm putting a little doubt into because that one I'm not sure of. And I, I am I, I I'm doubting that one. Yeah, I'm doubting that one. Okay. <laughs> so, how many of those did you get right, my friend? How many of those did you get wrong? Uh, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. And we've already spent, like, almost a half hour on just this one thing. But I'm having fun with this. I like to take... I, I like my adventure games to, you know, to feel them out and test how they go. Where else am I supposed to go now? Back. Okay. My men beg to... Me to tell all, but some things I kid myself. It was enough to tell them other dangerous mission I must undertake. I too, Robin. You look happier than I've seen in many a month. Oh, and with a smile that will fade and a dreamy look in your eyes. Aha! There can be only one cause to such contentment. Her name is Marion. She loves me as truly as I love her. You'll meet her soon and judge her worth for yourselves, as well as my future son. Oh wait, I didn't say hello. What this task she sets for you? I'm a worry about that when the fair begins. I must also find a way to enter the tournament. Avoid Prince John's spies! No risk is too great for a king. The days of Saturday fair speed by. Merchants, vendors, and travelers of every description come up from London, down from York on foot, horse, mule, and carts and wagons, or by boat and barge upon the River Trent. We leave for Watling Street alone, having no desire to hinder those going to the fair or stir up trouble within the sheriff until the time is right. Oh, let me, uh... Yeah, I, I think I'm just going to continue saves. Let me not say <laughs> anything, you never know. What ho, lads, you all look a trifle glum. Have you forgotten? Today is the Saturday Fair! The town will be filled with merchants from all parts of the world, fine goods. The archery tournament. Good food! How could I forget my mission? I must find a safe way to go to the fair today. But if that's what worries you. Of course not. I'm wishing we could go. Well, go, you all clever men. If you can find the means and wish to risk your necks, by all means do so. Well, that's all I want to hear, Robin. We don't want to get in your way. Rubbish, be off with you, but don't get caught. So we need to find a way. Uh, we need a disguise, right? 
Do we still have the beggar's disguise? I don't think so. We just had the brown robes and the black robes. Go to the overlook. Seems like the go-to place when you're unsure of exactly where to go. And there does seem to be a passage of time that needs to happen. Looks like one of the sheriff's men. I bid you welcome to Sherwood Forest, good yeoman. Good day. You're going to Nottingham? Uh, yep, that I am. And from the looks of you, to shoot in the archery tournament. Uh, yep, that I am. You're a man, a few words. Uh, yep, I mean, a simple man in the North Country. Okay, so he's not a soldier. You seem a little afraid. Once you warned of the bold outlaw Robin Hood, it is he who stands before you. I fear God and I fear the devil, but I fear naught else. Well said, my friend. Now if I want a payment from you before you pass along Watling Street, I have not but three pennies to pay my way to town and compete. That's why I go to shoot. Prize the golden arrow. I mean to win it. The last of love can then win me until the father finds me worthy. But if you seek to rob me, I'll nay say only by mark you that. Okay, what if I give him money? I'll make you a bargain, you see. I have a need to enter Nottingham today, and your clothes will make a fine disguise. Oh, uh, yep. So as you could try for that golden arrow for yourself, I reckon. Nay, keep your coins, Zala. Wait. My purpose is more urgent than the tournament, though I could indeed put that golden arrow to a greater use than you, I can guess. You may be a fine archer, but I know the competition. I say without slighting you that you stand little chance. Here's what I offer. A purse of silver worth 50 marks and a new suit of clothes in fine Lincoln green. So it isn't half the worth of the golden arrow, but a respectable sum all the same. In Nottingham, you risk all and likely gain nothing. Here, you risk nothing and gain far more than you could have now. I'll not sell my bow or arrows! Of course not, my friend. But I want to shoot with other than my own bow. See that purse of silver first, if you don't mind. Not that I don't trust you, but... Aha, gladly will I oblige you. Stand fast while I call my men. This good yeoman has made a fair bargain with me, Tuck. I promised him a purse of silver worth 50 marks. 50 marks? For what? Why, for his clothes. Well, bring him a suit of new cloth and fetch back an eye patch for me as well. 50 marks? For those clothes? Well, you'll take my own garb and weapons back to my cave. But 50 marks? <laughs> Come, my penny counting fire. He does me a service and he has a fair last to win to his wife. Bring him the purse and wish him well. Huh. So for 50 marks, she'd best be the most beautiful girl in the Shire. The eye patch is complete. Your disguise next to him, but if you enter the tournament. One eye or two, no man will best me. Escort our friend by the shortest way north through Sherwood. I wager he's eager to find his way home into a certain lass. As quickly as his feet can carry him. Yeah, there I am. Good press you, outlaw. You'd be a good man. Kiss the girl once for me. <laughs> I'll need you do that. <laughs> but I thank you all the same. It's a great line. All right, we have our costume. So let us go to the fair. <laughs> Okay, let me check my note really quick here. We gotta give this scroll to the Queen's Spy. Um, we have to look for a scholar. And they're gonna ask us about coat of arms and we need to identify the Danish kings. So if I open up my manual. On page 15 or so is a book of coat of arms.
The Danish Kings is the second to last one on the bottom row to the right. The Danish Kings is basically, as awesome as this is, a bird of some kind. Yeah, it's the only emblem with a bird, which is awesome because I like birds. So we need to get one with a bird. And we need a, which is a lovely shy lass. A man looking at the rugs. A man named Aaron bearing a fertile of sticks. This is Richard, Aaron's son. What? Familiar man? So obviously this is someone who's, is that the scholar? Because they seem very... My dad wants me to move up in the world, so I'm going to be a spine head when I grow up. I used to be a programmer for Sierra Online, but Hollywood is much easier to work. <laughs> ah. Reminds me of Spielberg. Corey Cole! Oh, okay. The, the Coles were the ones who uh, created the Quest of Glory series. On a bad day, <laughs> Laurie Cole was his... Oh, it's the Coles. Hey, uh, if, if you two ever watch my games, let me just say, I really love Tear You, and I would love to see that series extended. So, if you make another game, another sequel to Rogue Redemption, I would be really, really on that in a second. Don't interrupt, you rude Sperry. Bitty Biggies. Mini Mumblebees. Well, I hear tell that she dances in the woods. Man, I think that she was one of the Queen's ladies. Hey, the abbot said to me, Anya, the other night, that sure as he's a holy man, the Lady Marion is a witch. What? Your Anya talks to the abbot? She must be all of 15. She goes to the abbot for private instruction now. He took one look at her and said, Minnie, you send that girl around for private instruction. She says he instructs her most wonderfully. I know Anya is getting a bit thick about the waste these days. Whatever do you mean, Derry? Mark Hood. How do I know these rogues come from Daventry? Daventry, uh, King's Quest, right? Trust me. A lot of Easter eggs in here. Patience Woodson. Uh, if I stay no long enough looking needful, perhaps one day the popmonger will design to notice me. If the popmonger has no time for me, I'll go buy my pots elsewhere. Yonder Popmonger shows not the slice care for Zone, but Cedric Nimfadero. What do you carry to fair? A sack. I can see that. What have you in the sack? Feathers, sir. And right heavy they are. Sack of feathers? How heavy could it be? Well, I had to fill the bottom with stones, didn't I? <laughs> and why is that? To keep the feathers from floating away! I wish you luck on the wall for sure that you need it. <laughs> Mistress Yalki. It all looks so wonderful. I hardly know where to start. I wonder where this grumpy cider is. If I miss any Easter eggs here, by the way, feel free to let me know. What do you think of the quality of my wares, sir? They're on levy. They seem most durable, but I doubt that men will carry a tray the comfortable hose or trousers. I may have find a market for them. Time will tell. I advise you, sir, to take more care with your purse. Oh, hey, what? Oh, thank you. Silas Simpkin. I'm busy. George Bush. <laughs> what was this game made? I want to design games when I grow up. Joshua Mendel. Garrett of York. I'm the most skilled smith in all of York and the magging of daggers and small blades. I can see you have a good eye. No offense, Spencer, for a sturdy blade. And the prices. 29 pennies and up. I don't even think I have that much. Yeah, I don't even have that much. Morgan Creek. Sturdy leather decorated with metal studs. Once belonged to Sir Kevin, the Earl of Costner. A mere five marks apiece. Five marks is much to ask. When I tell the ladies that they're still covered with Sir Kevin's sweat, they can't make it great enough. I even had a couple go and swoon on me. Have you ever seen a woman swoon? I'm glad to say I have not. They take a sniff, their eyes roll into their heads, and swoon! Next thing I know, they're flat out in the dust. It's pitiful, sir. Zounds, what power does this man possess? I hear much praise about his dancing, sir, but I'd be happier without all swooning. 
Do you mean to compete in the tournament, my friend? I did, until I heard that Adam Bell will shoot. No one can beat him. I would daily have some raw fish and rice. Baskets, baskets, big baskets, little baskets. Weaver. Deep baskets, shallow baskets, heavy baskets, light baskets. Truly a basket case. I swear, a mighty oath that every word I say is true. Guy Gilanier? It's a wheel from the Trojan horse. Same as rolled through the gates of Doom Troy with a belly full of Greek soldiers. And how kind you buy this treasure. Sooth it shows, not its age, for a thing of such antiquity. Well, one, why would... Well, one would swear it was made, but only recently. Aye, it's fine condition, only has to the value. It is made of oak. I didn't know what they had, good English oak in ancient Troy. Aye, move along, fellow I business to here. Gamera Hedda, aren't you a handsome one? Remind me of my sixth husband, you do. Okay, let me go back here so I can go down this row. Seems like I was probably chasing after that person that was going across the top. Oh, hello. What about this person? Top of the day, Literatus. Greetings, Zoman. Whom have the honor of addressing? Puck is my name. That's a heavy book you carry. Aye, knowledge is a weighty matter. Are you a secret at wisdom, good sir? Forsooth, I am, as you rightly guess. Have you a book with the code arms of Danish kings? Oh no, this is the guy I was supposed to find. Oh, that was Marion. Ah, oh, I'm so dumb. We weren't supposed to talk to Marion, remember? I can indeed help you with that. Is it? Is this it? Hello? Ah, uh, that's not it. It's a bird. It's, it's a bird. Is this it? <clears throat> Come on. You aren't doing so well, my friend. None of those you show me is the Danish king. It's a bird. the guards over here. That is... That is the king of man. That one is the East Saxons. We need the Danish kings. That one is the later Saxon monarchs. That one is the Christian West Saxons. And that one is the Norman kings. I'm looking for the. Did I miswrite that? There's something odd about you, Master Puck. You're a scholar, I'm the Queen of Spain. Your bloody fool spy sees him. What? None of those were the right ones. Did I get that wrong? Look, he's got a good eye under this patch. I know that face, it's Robin Hood. The cow's with him. Alas, after all the warnings Robin had about the prince's spies, he still fell by to one. Aye, his caution failed him. He's learned better now. There's a painful education when taught upon the gallows. Well, let's hope that those who study the mistakes will learn from the lesson and improve upon the scholarship in the future. What am I doing wrong? Okay, so this is Marion. I'm not supposed to talk to her, right? Yeah. Good day, my lady. Sir, you must both. Please step aside. I heard tales that the ladies of Nottingham are of unsurpassed beauty, and I am convinced. Sir, I must guess again that- Oh. There's something wrong, my lady. Can it be that we met before? Oh, I nay, it was only that you reminded me of a certain rogue, I know. What a rogue, you warned me. He's a most foolish rogue who forgets his danger when surrounded by enemies. Nay, he never forgets, save when dazzled for but a brief moment by a vision of loveliness. Then I must by all means be on my way. So if I continue to talk to her, do I like end up dead? So I shall ask you no more, it isn't proper. Okay, you do not die that way. So, what is up with this? You're supposed to give him this scroll after you show him the Danish kings. I wrote that down. 
and the Danish things have a bird on it. At least we gotta talk to these people. The sharpest and most resilient of Damascene steel. Perfectly balanced, each sword is a masterpiece of the Smithy's art. You will not find its equal anywhere else, except in Damascus. <laughs> I find you in my blunt. You might whet my interest with the right price. For such these superb steel, 20 marks. I'll keep my bow. Eric the Tall. I dearly love to have one of those swords. Surely I would have a speck then, of heads would roll. You have no business talking to my wife. I'm sorry. Finest quality furs to adorn a man or lady. A rabbit and fox, a wolf and bear, and exotic furs from all across the seas. Suitable all manners of garments, collar, hats, cloaks, boots, and cuffs. Think of the potential. Two guys from Nottingham has a real link to it. I don't know, it looks a little something. We can wear funny copies of where they belong instead of their own faces. Is this the, um, is this the Andromeda's? The Andromeda pair? The, the two guys from Andromeda? You're not convincing me. Uh, Space Quest. Oh look, his face is turning the lovely shade of purple. How did you lose your leg? In the crusade, serving the king. I took an arrow in it, and then went faster. The leech had no choice but to chop it off. Hey, someone took the arrow knee before Skyrim. Let's give him a, um... Four points. Hey, we got points for that. How about that? Tools and implements for men of many trades. So not, I fear, for your trade, yeoman. I got points for giving money to a guy who lost a leg. I feel good about that. What is your sorrow? I want to be a hero, but my quest for glory had a tragic end. Lance, not a lot. I couldn't learn magic. I was a hopeless fighter and a clumsy thief. So I resigned myself to travel the fairies selling knickknacks and cheap little rugs. If I interest you in anything, do the rugs fly? Alas, they are but ordinary rugs. Then I think not. Yeah, I know we all know what that reference is. Rumor has it that you are silly. Moi? I'm as sensible as the day is wet. Five with the brain. Of a newt and naughty is a ninny that knew not not what the newt knew. Okay. I'll go no answer from this stop. These are most excellent mugs, tightly woven, expertly dried. Only two marks apiece. Two marks, it's very dear. Only a rich man can buy you rugs. Well, that certainly isn't you, so go away and don't kick up any tusks when you leave. Between you and the bloody great boar over there, I'll never get any customers. Where are your parents? Have they abandoned you? Do not have a cow, yo man. Ugly child? So, for me, I trade you for a pig and scarcely know the difference. Wow! And I trade you for a mule's hindquarters and no difference at all. Yeesh! Know what I like about Robin Hood? I hear he robs from the rich and gives them the pork. Greetings, sir. I see admiring my large and stalwart boar. I call him the great boar Sherman. Well worth his weight in gold. Would you be in the market for such a fine example of porcine splendor? It comes with a matching cod piece. Many thanks, but I'll decline your gracious offer. What do you carry in a bag? Everything I own, for I'm a restless man and like to roam. I much enjoy Nottingham, especially the woman, but it's time to move on. With a few angry husbands at your heels, mayhap. Husbands? What sort of rogue do you take me for? Actually, they're mostly feathers. Fathers. <laughs> Tell me of your wares. I'm sadly depleted. I've sold all my powders to sell this stomach, for it seems a man hereabouts has been selling a stew of dubious quality. Hippocrates. Socrates. <laughs> this fellow here before you has purchased all my love for lotteries. I still have some exquisite scented oils with two pennies each. What if I can buy a couple of those? What's your desire, sir? I wish something for a lady unsurpassed beauty and subtle wit. Only one thing will do that in the oil of the rose. Smell this, sir. Aye, that's perfect, but I cannot take the lady myself for reasons of delicacy. Say no more. Give me the lady's name, I shall deliver to her myself when the day is done. Then take it to Lady Mary and compliments of an archer named Puck. It will be done. How about that? Congratulations, you found me. I suppose you want to be awarded. Here, I'll give you some points. Hey, how about that? Oops, got a little carried away there. Excuse me while I fix it. Ah, no! So I didn't mean to do that. Let me give it one more try. I think I better leave. <laughs> oh. oh, this game. 
I want to talk to him yet. I want to talk to everyone else first. Piss. Don't believe this fella if he tells you it's a lamp in this stew. It's one that saw too many days upon God to the earth is what it is. As tough as the devil hide it is. This is the one that, like, poisoning everyone. What fate do you offer, cook? A nice lamp to serve you, sir. Two farthings for a blow. Have you a bowl with me? I fear I do not. Sorry, I can help you then. Good, I don't want it. He can do nothing but moan. He is incapable of speech. Did you make this grumpy cider that afflicts yonder men? Aye, that I did. And you sip from your own mug, yet you're left standing. I'm no fool. I'm a good pub ale in my mug. <laughs> Madame, why do you hum to these stones? The story tells us that Merlin raised the stones known as the Giant's Dance upon Salisbury Plain by means of song. Therefore, it must be that a stone spirit will dance when it's summoned by exactly the right combination of musical sounds. Since a small stone must respond as well to as a larger one, I'm practicing upon these stones until I can learn the dance to which they will dance. Ah, I see. We'll carry on. Charity, please, sir. What afflicts you? The sheriff's men what afflicted me, sir. One of them took my daughter and forced her to become his doxy. I thrashed the rogue and kicked him soundly. He returned with his boys, and while they helped me down, he chopped off my foot. Now I cannot plow my fields, and my poor daughter has a bastard babe to feed. That sucks. Here, take a coin. Bless you, sir. Good day, fellow. From where do you hail? Saxon, I be, and lately come from Austria. From Austria? Have you heard any news of our king, Richard the Lionheart? Last I heard, he was still prisoner. Thank you for the news, so you have I'd have wished to hear otherwise. Your scars are most fine. They are that. They are indeed. All the way from the east, woven by delicate dark eyed maidens, every one a virgin, so they tell me. Hey, it's Morse. They sell they say only a pure maiden can weave the silk of the worm in such fashion as you see here. And the price. They are but a penny and a half pen each, sir, a bargain, and a mere six farthings. I actually have that. Thank you, sir. I chose this gift for a certain lady. Aye, select the finest have a sent to Lady Marion. What? You will not deliver yourself? Why, when she sees this magnificent gift? Nay, it must be done as I ask. Say no more. It's a secret twist, then I understand. You may trust me, sir. I'll see you at the end of the day. My garlic's the most potent, sir. Are we had a vampire in these parts? Well, well, we never have. Not like the poor folk on the Tweed River, wiped out by the plague, brought on by the walking dead. Aye, the devil will never make the dead walk in this town, sir. Not with my garlic here to protect us. There's no answer. Tell your fortunes for two farthings. Thank you, sir. Stand still but a moment while I speak with the spirits. The spirits say danger follows you like a dog nipping at your heels. Easily guessed. I'm an archer, and that's my trade could entail danger. The spirits say that you are not what you seem. Vague enough, yet I've yet to hear my money's worth. Very well, Daniel Thomas, I'll not have you mock me. I see a battle in which there is much gold, yet it is not for the gold you fight. I see you in a forest, trapped as would be a stag surrounded by baying hounds. I see the gallows and a rope around your neck. I see a lady, a beautiful woman with black hair, and there's terrible danger for her very, for her very soon. How? What is this danger? Ah, you do not doubt me now. I regret I cannot tell you more. Say that it comes from something that she greatly fears. The spirits fall silent. I have no more to tell you. She fears fire. So is she going to be burned at the stake as a witch? This guy really wants to talk to me so bad he's blocking my path. I tell you, the world is a cube. I tell you, the world is flat. Tis not. Tis so. Tis not. Tis so. Okay, last section. There's another guy who's walking by. Merry day, Greybeard. Hey, oh, I, I, merry day to you. I see you carry books. I am a scholar, you see. Would you care to buy a book? Every man should own a book, what's his life? Perhaps you have a book which shows the coat of arms of Danish kings. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm not so sure. I must have a look. Let's see, uh, would this be the one? No. Oh dear, maybe in one of my other books. I'll fetch from home and bring it back. 
The end is coming. The millennium draws to the end. The time of judgment is upon us. Hark in the aid, for the years are short and your sins are many. Upon the turning point of the millennium, my world will end. The angels will ascend and woe to those who are not found worthy. The end is nigh. Purify yourselves and abandon all material pleasures and sins of the flesh. The year, in the year, that's weird. The year 1200 Anno Domini. The year 1200 in the year of the Lord. We'll see the end of all things. Prepare yourself. That's not how you should say it. You should say Anno Domini 1200. Nay, sir, the millennium does not end in 1200. In truth, not until the year 1201 is completed does the millennium end, for 1201 is the 1000th year. What say you now? Picky, picky, picky. <laughs> Shh, I've listened to Doomsayer. If you want to gamble, show your points. What could one possibly say to a rare giant Nottingham armadillo? How come you by this creature? There's a long and highly probable tale. I'm sure it is, some other time perhaps. You look perplexed, good man. This is what part of this text says. Move thy rodent, and as thy rodent moves, so moves the symbol then hast chosen. Bring thy chosen symbol to rest upon a personal object, then chick thy finger upon thy rodent to bring forth the response to the symbol. Can you say what it means, young man? Nay, it is most baffling. I have no idea. What is the purpose of your odd walk looking stick? This is an experiment. I'm trying sticks of all different shapes. I'm inventing a game in which two teams of men throw a hard ball at one another and try to knock over the other teams of wicket. But the man with this stick tries to hit the ball before he hits the wicket. The wicket? Aye, three these sticks uh, stuck into the ground with two other sticks laid flat on top. And then the two men with the hitting sticks run back and forth between the wicket while other men round in the field trying to catch the ball. What do you think? I think you're mad. No man of white mind will play such a game. <clears throat> okay, so let's try giving these guys money. Place a wager with me, mate. Robert uh, Fishback. He's the guy on the right. Um, but six points. Patch is wage delayed. I'll throw first. A good throw. Best if you can. Patch, here's the dice. You lose. He thinks the man has more than one pair of dice up his sleeves. Yeah, I got robbed. I got robbed. So let's just give him... Can I confront them? I have a mind to throw the dice. Okay, let's try him one more time. I, I'm not gonna win from this. Okay, let, let's. I, I wonder now. The the other guy may have been a spy. Like the other guy might have actually been a spy. I wish to enter the tournament. You want I? That's a joke. Too early anyway. Come back and repeat your just later, and I'll consider letting you enter. Okay, I gotta find the right guy first. Did you find the other book? You see, and that was the thing. When I asked the other guy, a bunch of guards appeared. Remember? Oh my, I did have a look. It's not that one. Oh dear, I'm afraid something I got the one you desire. Please excuse me. Where the heck? What day do you learn, sir? And what does the young man want with the scholar? What else? Save knowledge. There are many forms of knowledge, my phrase friend. Speak your mind more clearly. I'm minded to see the coat of arms of the Danish kings. Oh, uh, well, let me see. That's not it. That's... The Christian... Britains. That's it! That's our bird! This is our guy! In the name of Queen Eleanor, I bid you welcome. Do you swear by the Virgin Mary that you are the Queen's little man? I and the kings. Now make haste and deliver what you have for me. Even now our enemies search for us. I gotta give him the scroll. Excellent. I thank you, yeoman. I have a little money with me, but please accept what coins I have. Use them as you see fit. Nah, that's okay. As you wish. I will be in the fair a short time with change your mind. That's so sweet hasty down your points. No matter. I'm glad enough to give them. So I wonder if now I can do the um the uh, archery contest. Oh, 
Hold the omen. We have new rules for this tournament. There's an entrance fee for one penny. Pay up or move on. What new larceny is this? The tournament has always been open to all comers without fee. Well, now it's open to all comers with a penny in their hands. Pay up or move on. A lot more money now. Alright, take the center lane. Oh, God. Way too low. It's gotta be higher. I can't have fire again. But I had to do that. Hmm. A little too far right. I don't know where that one landed. Tournament shall now begin! Each archer shall fire three arrows in this round. Claim the crow shall shoot first! I think I shot better than that. Puck of Barnsdale shall now shoot! So I know it's got to be a little high up, Maybe a little too high. Wow, that didn't move at all. Not my best. Annabelle, Jimmy and Nottingham, not now suit. Oh my god. Clem Close shall step down. William McCloudley, step forth. Each archer shall fire three arrows. Those are pretty bad. Those are pretty good. Hey, I got one that was dead on. William Cosley shall sit, step back down. Adam Bell and Puck of Barnzell shall shoot the win. One arrow shall be fired and winner takes all. What the? Adam Bell, Chimmy Anonymous has scored a perfect center. Let Puck of Barnzell not fire his final arrow. Oh, I gotta split his arrow in twains! Did I do it? I think I did it! He has split the arrow! The winner is Puck of Barnsdale! Look at that! Yeah! yeah, let's go! Puck of Barnsdale has won the golden arrow! Let the winner stand before our exalted sheriff and receive his prize. Is you uncommon well, Puck of Barnsdale? I could use a man since you are in my service. I fear it is a post to which I cannot as possibly aspire, Lord Sheriff. Uh, Tut would not be a place of honor as my captain be worth far more than a mere golden arrow. I dare say it would. To another man, I shall seek my honor elsewhere. Here's your prize then. Be off with you, ingrate. I accept this prize with the same prize, grace as it was given. Huzzah! I thought it best to leave the fair at once. It near pleased the sheriff by rejecting his offer, and there was always a chance he sent one of his bully boys to reclaim the prize by foul means. I turn the arrow over to Tuck to, a to add to the ransom horde and join my men for a cherry fest. I watched the tournament from the crowd, Robin. Never I seen you shoot better. The golden arrow is a fine addition to the ransom prize. How could I fail? When the king's life is at stake and my own pride as well. I don't know. I, I, I failed a lot in today's episode. I thought that I had no shot at that one. I guarantee that the battle I wrote about this day will outlast me. But once, Ellen, I'll not argue with you. Man will tell and retell the story of the one-eyed archer who fooled the sheriff and won the prize. What? You agree with me, Tuck? Quickly, mix a potion. This man is ill. <laughs> Please, as I am with today's work, it's not enough. What if the treasure isn't set from York as planned? I must find other means to raise more ransom in case the war should befall. 
There's another place to look for riches. It shares its own coffers. Now there's a bold new idea to reckon with. I'll think about it. All right, well, my name is a flight list bird. This is your story based gaming channel and uh, this has been our continued blind Let's play Conquest of Longbow the Legend of Robin Hood for the PC. I am so over the moon at the fact that I nailed that shot. I mean, I I've I, I think I hit the bullseye once out of six shots before that and then I nailed it on my first try that felt so good like so good. But, um, yeah, uh, well, we'll see where the next episode goes. Sorry that this episode didn't have a lot of stuff going forward due to these time I spent on the riddles. But I like riddles, even though I'm not good at them. I like them. And I find them interesting. So, hopefully you found that interesting as well. Much love to you, my dear friends. And I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. Until next time, so long. And take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.